Everyone's YouTube journey starts with their first video upload resulting in their first couple of views. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the things that I've done that have helped my channel now reach over 100,000 views and they're coming up right now. Hey there, Mark Warnkin here, your social media for business specialist. And if this is your first time here, this channel is all about helping you grow your business or brand using LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and a whole lot more. So hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with everything social media. I release videos just like this one every week and you definitely don't want to be missing out on them. So here we are on my YouTube channel, Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123. And I'm going to share with everyone today six tips or th six things that I really focused on um, over the last 12 months or so that have seen my YouTube channel take off in a relatively sense to over 4,000 subscribers and how I reached my first 100,000 views. Now, I started planning this video about a month or so ago. In that time, my views have actually gone up even more. So I've actually now got 165,000 views. I've got about 35, 40,000 views just in the last month. And there's some reasons behind that. And I'm going to run through those reasons. So for all of the struggling YouTubers out there, I was like you, um, you know, only 12 months or so ago with only, you know, five or 10 videos and less than you know, a few hundred subscribers and not that many views but I really knuckled down and really focused on a few things and my views and my subscribers have taken off so the first thing that I want to get everyone to focus on is to upload on a regular basis now that one might seem pretty obvious but um, People can only, you know, you, you're not going to get views unless you have videos and the more new videos you have, the more your channel will grow and obviously the more total videos on your channel will grow. So over the last 12 months or so, going back here, I think I've, uh, where are we, where are we, 11 months ago. So 11 months ago, this was my, or 12 months ago, this is where I was. So I'd only had about, you know, 14 or 15 videos on my YouTube channel. But over the last 12 months, I've consistently uploaded, um, you know, on a regular basis, weekly basis. And I think by counting that, I had 47 videos in the last 12 months alone. So by uploading and recording videos on a regular basis, that will go a long way to growing your channel, growing your subscribers, and of course, obviously growing your um, total YouTube views. Now, I do have 59 um, views in um, videos in total now. I just uploaded one yesterday. But some of these videos, you know, performing okay. Some of them I'm a little bit disappointed on with only a few hundred views. But I, like everyone, I'm growing my channel just like most people out there. And I have had a couple of hits. This particular one here, 1 1.8, 1 and a, um, you know, 1,800 views, coming up to 5,000 views on this particular one. I did have this particular one here on Twitter, 23,000 views. Um, what else have I got? Um, you know, this one here on LinkedIn hashtags, three and a half thousand views, 1.3, a thousand views, things like that. So I have had a couple of successes, nearly 4,000 views on this one, 8,000 views almost on this one. And the video uploaded this morning, 18 hours ago, already got 60 views. So the first thing I want everyone to focusing on is commit to a uploading schedule. Minimum, minimum one video a week. If you can two, do two, even better. Now, if you can only do one every two weeks to get going, then commit to that. But if you're looking to grow your YouTube channel and grow your views, the number one thing to be focusing on first is to be uploading videos on a regular basis. Nice. Tip number two that I want everyone to be focusing on, and this is one thing that all of the successful YouTubers do as well, is they set up and optimize their YouTube channel for success. Once again, and all of these are gonna sound very simple and very obvious, but the vast majority of people don't do it, and that's why their um, subscriber count struggles, it's not rising, and that's why their total views don't um, increase as well. So set up and optimize your YouTube channel for success. Add a profile image of you or your business logo. Add a YouTube channel art, um, YouTube channel art image. Customize it to fit correctly. You, you, you think of it as an extension of your website. When someone lands on your YouTube channel, they're going to decide whether in seconds whether they like what they see. So customize your channel art. Um, what else you're wanting to do? 
is that you know focus on on think about firstly even thinking about your channel name you know what are you going to be calling it over here on the right hand side you do get some clickable links that can take people to your facebook page your linkedin profile twitter or a free report or tiktok or whatever it might be you're wanting to sort of you know signal to the youtube community around the world equally you're wanting to signal to youtube and google that hey i'm serious about my channel I've taken all the, um, you know, I'm ticking off all the right boxes, you know, focusing on my channel. Equally, the about section, you're wanting to add, you know, the bio about, you know, what's your YouTube channel all about? Have some information here. Um, now add your keywords, you know, because you, you, you're you wanting to sort of optimize the chances of, of people finding your YouTube channel if they're doing, um, you know, a, a YouTube search or a Google search. Adding some playlists here as well. So if anyone wants to sort of binge watch some of my content, they get to do that as well. And another thing that you want to focus on is adding a channel welcome video. So when people arrive on your channel for the first time, they see a dedicated or a specifically selected video that is called a welcome video or a channel trailer video. So um, before someone has subscribed to your YouTube channel, you can have a specific video here playing. Um, it's going to welcome people to their channel, your, your channel. It's going to explain who you are, what you do and how you help. Um, and that type of thing. Now, once they have actually subscribed to your channel, you then get the opportunity to add a featured video um, in its place. But again, these are the type of simple things that most people don't do. And then they start moaning and complaining about, hey, my YouTube channel's not growing, my views aren't increasing, my subscribers aren't increasing. And all of these simple little things are partly the reason why. As we move on to tip number three, okay, you've set up and optimized your YouTube channel you're uploading and recording on a regular basis you now want to you know um, yeah, increase the chances of people to start watching your video now I say people ask me Mark what's the most important part of my video and I always say your thumbnail your thumbnail is the most important part of your video so tip number three is I want you to focus on creating eye-catching and engaging thumbnails and titles to your videos Think of it this way, you might be uploading and recording on a regular basis and you might be saying, hey Mark, my videos aren't being watched. Generally, it's because your thumbnails are weak. Your thumbnail is the most important part because as we scroll through on YouTube like this, your thumbnail needs to stop the scroll. You need to stop the scroll, the thumbnail needs to be viewed, the thumbnail needs to be clicked and then only then will your video start getting watched. Again, with all of the popular YouTubers and YouTube channels that are growing, they have intriguing, they have engaging, they have curious, eye-catching thumbnails, and that's what I want everyone to be focusing on as well. Now, I specifically have a, um, I have a specific video on how to create eye-catching thumbnails, and I will actually put that in the comment section below. Equally, I have a specific video on how to create and upload a welcome video as well. So I will put the links to both of those videos in the comment section below so you can watch those specific videos. But thumbnails and titles in some ways, they are the most important part of your video. Your video doesn't get watched unless your thumbnail gets clicked. So tip number four that I want everyone to be focusing on is to do some research before you're recording and uploading any videos. Before you're creating thumbnails, there has to be a market for the videos that you're creating. Um, if you might be doing everything that I've said correctly up until now, but you still might be saying, hey Mark, I've done everything correctly, but people still just aren't watching my videos. Now, that could be partly the reason is that, you know what, They're, people aren't interested in the topics of the videos that you're creating. And how can you find out whether people might be interested in that is, is do some research before recording. Now, there's a great keyword research tool out there and it's a free download, it's a free Google Chrome extension download and it's called Keywords Everywhere. And when I load that onto my computer, each time I then type in a, you know, a search into Google, it comes up with the search volumes of that particular search. Let me show you how that actually works. So I've gone and done a Google search and the Google search here is a pretty general one that most people could relate to, how to stop my dog from barking. And when I press enter, 
the keywords everywhere tools tell me in Australia alone, and I've just narrowed it down, and globally this would be way more, 4,400 people a month are searching for that term. So straight away you know, well, look, there's 4,400 people a month times 12 months. That's over 50,000 people a month are doing a Google search on how to stop my dog from barking. So there's an idea where you could create a video with exactly that title, with exactly those keywords, with exactly exactly that thumbnail and you will vastly increase the chances of your videos appearing in search and then once people have spotted your thumbnail they may even click now um, the keywords everywhere tool give me lots more suggestions over here have a look at this how to stop my dog from barking at night very simple look at this one how to stop my dog from barking 4400 how to stop dog barking at night it's even got more views my dog barks at everything so you can sort of see how just doing some research before recording it will vastly increase the chances of people actually watching your videos as well and i just wanted to quickly show you another example of the keywords everywhere tool in action i started to google search keywords and i was going to finish with everywhere Google are already auto suggesting 74,000 people a month are using that or keying in that phrase. But Google are going to give you these auto suggestions as well. So straight away, you have lots and lots of video ideas that you know people are actually searching for. So that's how the Keywords Everywhere tool works in action with those two particular examples. So make sure before you record and upload or before you even plan record and upload, you start using one of these amazing free um, research tools. And like all of the tips in this particular video that I'm giving you, um, I've actually done a specific video on that one as well. Best free keywords research tool. I'll go into that one in a little bit more detail. It's a 15 minute long video. And once again, I will put the link to that video in the comment section below. So tip number five that I want everyone to start focusing on after you have planned and recorded and uploaded all of your new wonderful videos with eye-catching thumbnails, you know they're going to be watched. You then want to start sharing your videos across social media and any place and everywhere offline as well. Now I do that for all of my videos and I do it in quite a few places. Now the first place that I share all of my YouTube videos that have been uploaded and recorded is to my LinkedIn profile. I have quite a large following on LinkedIn, over 21,000 first level connections and that gives me a network reach into the tens of millions. So whenever I record and upload one of my videos, one of the first places that I share it is to my LinkedIn profile. And here is a specific example Example of my video that I just um, released a few hours ago or 11 hours ago uploaded to my LinkedIn timelines already had 423 views so you can see how simple it, it is to start sharing information or start sharing your videos not only um, on your YouTube channel once it once they've been uploaded but you start sharing them in many other places as well now the next place that I share all of my YouTube videos to is on my Facebook page yes that's right I upload directly the YouTube URL to my Facebook page what it then does it gives my YouTube video another backlink and people then get the opportunity who are following me on my Facebook page then to actually see my recently upload YouTube com um, content now Facebook doesn't actually like that they don't necessarily like you putting YouTube video links on your Facebook page and when you do that they will actually limit the reach of that particular post um, but what I also do I upload the video directly to my Facebook page as well so it becomes a native Facebook video but the second area that I share all of my videos to once uploaded on YouTube is to my Facebook business page and the third place that I share my videos to is on Twitter that's right I, I directly upload the YouTube URL directly to my Twitter news feed that then gives people who are very much you know uh, avid Twitter fans the opportunity firstly to find my video the thumbnail the title all of that increases the chances of my YouTube videos being what so and the first um, few minutes and hours and days of your vi YouTube video being uploaded is the most critical because if you upload a video and it's not going to get that many views in the first few hours and, and days it's signaling to YouTube and Google hey this particular video is not that important or maybe it's not you know people aren't liking it we're not going to sort of extend the reach of this 
particular video out into the YouTube news feed on suggested videos and things like that. So you're wanting to get as many people as possible, as fast as possible, as quick as possible watching your video. That's why sharing it on LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter and a whole other heap of places is really, really important. And finally, in some other places that I share my video too, is I my email list. I will email people that have uh, subscribed to you know get updates from me. I will make sure that um, I, I let them know in a, in an email. Hey, recently uploaded one of my videos. Equally, be active in in blogs and in forums and things like that. Um, Instagram, TikTok, all of the social media platforms. If you're a fan of them and are mastering them and or you know are more active on them than maybe some of the ones I've just explained utilize them all put a little teaser hey just uploaded a new video go check it out on my youtube channel this is what we need to do as well and if we do all these little things i can guarantee you over time your youtube channel with, will grow with more views and more subscribers and tip number six that i want to explain to everyone um, another thing that i do and i do all of these for every one of my videos is i add my individual videos to a youtube playlist that's right so i've created quite a few different playlists here on youtube a range, on a whole range of different topics and I add these particular videos to those playlists, YouTube for Business series, um, Facebook for Business, LinkedIn for Business, um, how to use Facebook to grow, 2020, LinkedIn for Business, things like that. So there are literally, um, you know, I've got about 10 different playlists and the idea of that is if someone then wants to binge watch, let's have a look, YouTube for Business series, Okay, so in this particular playlist, I probably have six, eight or 10 videos and I need to keep adding a few more to it. Um, but just like watching television these days, we're binging on Netflix. People are now will binge on YouTube. And if you give them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 videos in this particular playlist to binge watch, this will vastly increase the chances of your videos being viewed and watched and all of that will help with the total um, you know, growth of your channel in regard to the number of subscribers and equally in the total number of views. And as we come back for the final time to my YouTube channel, all of those six things that I've just gone through and explained to everyone, everyone out there watching this video can be doing them and I believe should be doing them. Now, I'm setting some lofty goals in the next 12 months. I want my YouTube channel subscribers to be over say 15 or 20,000 and I want my total views to be, you know, 500,000, 700,000, that type of thing. And just by following all of those steps and following them consistently and doing them to best practice, I'm putting myself in the um, position of achieving those particular goals and you can as well. So what I'd like you to do is go to the comment section below. I would love to hear some of the tips and, and areas that you've been focusing on that have helped grow your YouTube channel. I love learning from others i'm on youtube every day now i'm learning from some young people that are doing some amazing things equally I'm, I'm i'm learning from people in totally different industries to me that are just doing some amazing things on youtube and i'm always looking to incorporate best practices so say hello in the comment section below let me know where you're tuning in from um, equally let me know some of the great things that you're um, doing that has helped grow your youtube channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay up to date if you're watching this on Facebook, remember to give me a like and like my Facebook page. If you're watching it on LinkedIn, give me a um, send me a connection request and leave me a comment as well. Um, if you're finding it on Twitter, if you're finding it from any other source, say hello as well. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123, signing off. I look forward to seeing you again soon in another one of my videos.